Welcome to this tutorial on colour matching stereo 3D footage with Ocular. We're going to use the Plate Match toolset under the Ocular menu to set up and review the Colour Matcher node. Here I have my original footage and the pre-comp disparity and occlusions to work with. Before we start, let's take a look at the input footage to see what corrections need to be applied. Here we're going to use the Stereo Review Gizmo to review the raw plates. You'll see that alignment is switched on, so we can just check for colour differences. You can pick up the parallax slider here and reconverge the plates at different depths. And this is showing an exaggerated difference, so you can quickly see any mismatch in colour. And you can ping pong between the views to check the differences. Use the subject point to inspect different parts of the shot. And you can use this with a tracker to bake out a transform to define different review points that you want to check on the corrected plate. Now let's take a look at setting up the colour match node. There are several controls you can use to correct the colour match that's being applied. Colour Matcher builds a new view under the hood based on disparity and then compares the colour statistics over blocks of pixels to calculate the colour update. Using a small block size will produce detailed changes at highlights. Using a larger block size can produce a safer creation as it's less dependent on the accuracy of the disparity vectors when it builds the new view. You can see here that a small block size is rebuilding the green screen over this vertical element because the new view based on disparity is incorrect. I can use a larger block size to compensate for this. You can also use the scale and limit controls to get a safer correction. Increasing scale broadens out the extent of the colour correction in the image, and this helps to fix any shifts that you see on edges. Reducing the colour limit applies a soft clamp to the colour change. This can help to reduce any halos you see on edges, and in particular at highlights. In this shot, we have some halos on the high contrast edges. We can change the scale and limit the correction to compensate. So now we have a safe correction for this shot. Now you'll also see on Colour Matcher that you can tune the noise treatment. And if you see issues in occlusions, tune the colour tolerance that is used to fill in the occluded areas. So the first QC step in setting up the Colour Matcher node is to check the corrected plate against the original and make sure there are no artefacts or any shifting in the updated image. Once you're happy that there is a safe correction, you can then review the colour match to the other view. Let's go back to the stereo review gizmo and check how well the plates match. We can use the subject point to inspect the shot and check that the colour differences have been zeroed out. Now compare this to the localised differences we had with the original footage. The Review Gizmo has some handy tools to help check the plate correction. You can sweep through and select a particular depth and hit playback to check a 10 frame sequence to see if there are any glitches. You can also hold on a particular frame and do a depth rack to check that the colour difference is zeroed out as you sweep through depth. So finally we can check our colour correction at the review points we set up for the shot. Here I've set up a transform on the subject so I can step through each frame and check the correction by ping-pointing between views. Once you're happy with the correction, you can render out your updated view. So in this shot we've updated the right to match the colours of the left, our hero view. And that concludes this tutorial on colour matching.